Hi guys, welcome to Planning Incorporated. Um, today I'm going to talk about my um, end of One Book July setup and how my project has changed um, completely and why you can see a new planner here. So I guess I should show it to you closed first. Um, just a second. This is so hard to do one-handed. Uh, okay. So, um, this is my new planner. This is the French Scene by Franklin Covey. Okay, um, it's a planner that's no longer in production, so if you want it, you're gonna have to do a little hunting. Um, I did, I got this pre-owned from a girl who says she only used it one week and then the rings were too small for her, okay? In my experience, the rings are comparable to the Maldens. They may be a little bit smaller than the Maldens, but I can fit everything I need on here. You can see it's not too chunky, but not super skinny either. So, and it closes still really nicely. There's a little bit of play even, right? Um, so, really nice that way. And it's a really nice button. Uh, you have the two buttons so that if you want it to be nice and tight, you can and do it that way. Or, and then there's less play. But if you want it to be a little bit looser or you have enough inserts that it's too stuffed to do that, you can have it that way too, okay? Um, so, the reason I like this planner better than the Malden and the reason I was searching for this planner, just a second while I check this, okay, is because... Um, the pocket layout, number one, I like the vertical layout better than the horizontal layout that's inside of the, um, Malden, and the pen loops are bigger. Yes, there are two pen loops, okay, and they're bigger, so I can fit any pen I want to. Um, right now, I have the Happy Scrappy July Kit pen, um, which, if you watched my last video, you already know that, but, and then this is also a dashboard for Happy Scrappy, which I probably should have waited to tell you that until I went into the planner, but anyways... Staples card, license, debit card, Starbucks card, and my university card. Back here, which is another pocket, I currently have nothing, but look at how big that can open. Okay, this planner is super stretchy. And the reason I like, another reason I like it better than the Molden is look at how flat it lays. Like, let me see if I can get, it is like parallel to the table, people. Because the leather is so floppy. Um, these, both of these charms um, came separately. This little pink one is from the Mommy Lay July Little Bits box. And then this is from um, McDonald's, actually. And I just hot glued her tail to itself and put her onto the same key ring as the Mommy Lay. Um, I have a weird obsession with Pomeranians, and so this little chica from The Secret Life of Pets is actually my dream Pomeranian with even a little pink bow. And she's white and fluffy, so cute. So I had to have her on here. And those are my current planner charms. Um, up top, the planner clips I've got, I've got this little tea kettle and this little coffee mug with the thunderstorm happening. Love that. I guess it's just rain, but I'm imagining a thunderstorm since I love thunderstorms. And um, those are both from the Happy Scrappy kit as well. All right, so. After my Happy Scrappy dashboard, which is super cute on the back, I have an Annika Hamby folder, okay? Um, with gold foil, and it's so stinking cute. Um, I have some Happy Scrappy lists over here for like grocery lists, impromptu lists, things like that. I've already punched them and just put them in here so that anytime I need to make a list, I can just do that. And then back here, um, I currently have nothing, but there's another pocket back here. So this is a four pocket folder by her and she does a fantastic job. So in this, I have, um, some reinforcement labels, this little sticker sampler I got from a girl on Etsy I ordered from, um, my, my water bottle stickers, my reinforcement labels. Okay. And then again, in this pocket back here, I have nothing. Um, those are two separate pockets, by the way, these. So it's four. Um, and then all of my dividers are made from the Mommy Lay Little Bits box papers for this month. Uh, the Bubble Tea is my favorite. That's why you can see him covering up my ID picture right there. How cute is he? Because I love Bubble Tea. Love it, love it, love it. And it's so cute that she made him smile and blush and all that. Um, all of my tabs are from Michael's. These are the Michael's Recollections tabs. Um, I did have other tabs, but they kept getting caught and they were too big so I changed them okay so after my first tab I've got um another dashboard huge fan of dashboards because they serve so many purposes um this is from hot pink fluff okay and then I have a year on one page and I just put a color coding dot for every time the month is over so after Sunday night I'll be putting one on July um 
And this is from Alexis Giostra's Strange and Charm Shop. It's a free printable. And you can just Google Strange and Charm Shop. It'll come right up. And then this is also from her shop. It's a yearly pullout, okay? And I've said before that I'll use this more once school starts. But now um, that I've kind of figured out um, a different... No, I don't want to say I've figured out a different system, but I've realized that my system already kind of covers future planning. Um, I don't know if I'll continue to use this. Um, it's really pretty, and I could use it for, like, birthdays or something. So I might be taking this out. I might not. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, then my first tab says documented because I didn't have any blank ones left. Um, but this is actually July of my DIY fish insert. So what you do is you pull in the paper clip, and it will bring you up my July tracker, Okay. When you fold back the tracker and you get um, my monthly, my weekly, okay? And then there's some personal information here that I had to cover up. And you can see this has been a not super busy week. Um, busy month, yes. Busy week, not really, except for today. Um, I had a lot to do today, but I had even more to do um, last week. So, um... I like this because it shows me my week and my month on a glance. Um, I did for a while have my dailies here too. Um, and actually, I just stopped that a couple weeks ago. So you can see how thick the inserts behind it have gotten. It's a pretty chunky monkey um, because there's a daily, see? Um, really, really functional system, um, the DIY fish is. And I love the way it works. Um, that's why I'm having trouble deciding between this and a bullet journal. Um, and I'll talk about that in my next video. I'm recording three videos today. I'm recording the Happy Scrappy, this, and then I actually am living in this and another planner simultaneously. And I'll talk about why in my next video um, and all of that, okay? Um, so that's that. And then I have a Happy Scrappy sticker here and then another tab. Uh, this is blank because I haven't really set up anything yet except for one event um but i'm going to don't worry um i usually do it on sunday night just because i'm a procrastinator and then these two stickers came from hurricane randy plans um so did this and so did this all very cute um and then again this is just the weekly fold out okay so i have three months in here um i've talked about how i always have three months in here before nothing has changed okay then my next tab is again from the papers from Mommy Lay um, and then uh, this is my bullet journal tab so I did it change a couple things first of all this is a pull out now so um, that's nice and then um, I've moved the bullet journal to its own section in here so um, it's kind of nice to have all my dailies next to each other and then I also have this little guy who again is a pull out because I like to have my page markers as pullouts um and this again is from the happy scrappy kit now i will say oh my gosh this is really hard to snap back in with one hand but um i will say this is not a super long one so i kind of wish i would have punched it a little bit up or a little bit below but it sticks out at the bottom so i can grab it it's just so cute that i can't stop using it though and then there's a list pad back here which if i were to laminate this um then I could reuse this over and over with a wet erase marker, and that would be nice. Um, here's today's daily, which was done with this pen. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then um, the rest of this is blank. And I've actually really slimmed down how much paper I keep in each section, because again, the rings on this are smaller. Next tab, let me show you the front of it, because it's too cute. Little panda girls, so cute. And then on the back is the little ice creams. Um, my collection collections yeah so again this hasn't really changed I don't want to show you too much of it but this planner clips on my checkbook register which is from uh, somebody designs Brandy Norris Brandy Norris designs so um, it's a printable I needed a printable one because I go through these really quickly um, and then this ladies and gentlemen I stopped doing because it came became a task it wasn't fun anymore um, and then this uh, collections besides that has not changed. This is the back. Here's the front. So cute. So cute. Okay. Um, again, I have this reusable list pad in here. Um, which actually I can take out now since I have some list pads in the front. And then this is my inbox. So um, 
all of this stuff has already been processed. Um, and then I have a bunch of paper back here for other stuff that I need to add. Then my last divider um, is the cute little macarons and the other side is the coloring page. So, um, and then I've got coloring pages back here as well. So I've got one, two, three in here, even though I don't color all that often, you can see. And then I've got um, this folder back here, which I use for keepsakes. So I've got some ticket stubs in here. I've got a receipt from a restaurant me and my family went together. All kinds of cute stuff in there. And then I've got um, a Franklin Covey, uh, one of the little black plastic um, things. I don't know what you would call them, but I use it as a page lifter. Okay, then back here again, I have the Happy Scrappy pen, which is really cute. And then I have some business cards in here. I don't want to show those because they have personal information on them from people that I know. And then um, a bigger pocket back here. And this is actually with the French seam, this is the same pocket right here. Um, it's a kind of a letdown from the massive two back pockets you get with the Malden, but not huge letdown because I just simply don't use that pocket that much. Um, I will say, however, that my favorite part about this planner I haven't even showed you yet, and it's this back zip pocket. Bam, look at this. This is so huge, and it's also really hard to do with one hand. So, um, it's camouflaged as well, and right now all I have in here is these uh, Mommy Lay sticky notes, but you can fit anything you want in here. It's so nice, and when you cover it up, you know, it's barely a zipper, right? So functional and cute. All right, guys. Um, that's this. Oops, my little paper clip came off. Mm, that's sad. I'll put him back on. Um, so, guys, that's the setup that I've got for you today. Um, and my French seam, okay? And I'm going to record one more video after this with my bullet journal setup. So, I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Bye-bye.